What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to compare mixed fractions, or mixed numbers, using inequalities, okay? And we're going to cover some positive and negative examples. Okay, and in case you need a quick refresher on how inequality symbols work, I'll link a video to that in the card above. But if you're good, let's jump into this first example. 5 and 3 fourths and 2 and 7 ninths. Okay, and the two inequality symbols that I'm going to use are the greater than symbol and the less than symbol. So, which one would be appropriate for this case? Well, when you're comparing mixed fractions, it's actually kind of easy. Because you don't really even have to look at the fractions. All you really have to do is pay attention to the whole numbers. So, here we have 2, and here we have 5. So, if I wanted to plot these on a number line, just a really rough sketch, we would have, let's see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? So if we wanted to plot these on a number line, let's do this one first. 2 and 7 ninths. This would be somewhere between 2 and 3, right? So 2 and 7 ninths would be maybe somewhere around there, okay? And then 5 and 3 fourths, this would be somewhere between 5 and 6, okay? Because we would start at 5, right? That's our whole number. And then we would move over 3 fourths, which would be approximately here. Okay, so here's our two spots, approximately 2 and 7 ninths, and 5 and 3 fourths. Which one is bigger? Well, 5 and 3 fourths is bigger, right? How do you know that? Because it's further to the right on the number line. So that's why with mixed fractions like these, you don't even really have to look at the fractions, okay? Because the whole numbers are going to tell you what you need to know. So again, 5 and 3 fourths is the bigger number here. So which inequality symbol am I going to use here? Well, a trick that helps me remember which way they're supposed to face is these always look like mouths to me, okay? So I would just draw teeth on them. And then you could just think of them as the mouth of a monster or the mouth of your least favorite math teacher. And then you would just tell yourself, okay, I want to eat the bigger number. Okay, so if we're saying five and three-fourths here is the bigger number, we want to eat the bigger number. So my mouth is going to point that way. And then we would just read our answer as... 5 and 3 fourths is greater than 2 and 7 ninths. Okay, so let's try another one. Okay, this time let's say we had negative 5 and 3 fourths and positive 2 and 7 ninths. Okay, so in this case, which number is bigger? Well, here, 2 and 7 ninths is bigger. How do I know that? Well, because here we have negative 5, right? And here we have positive 2. Positive numbers are always bigger than negative numbers. So it doesn't matter what number this is over here. If it's negative, this positive number is going to be bigger. Okay? And then again, remember, I want to eat the bigger number. Okay? So I would read my answer as negative 5 and 3 fourths is less than positive 2 and 7 ninths. All right, let's try a couple more. Okay, so what if we had this one right here? If we wanted to compare 3 and 2 thirds and 3 and 4 fifths, how would we compare these two? Well, as you can see, in this case, they both have the same whole number, right? Positive 3 and positive 3. So, when you have a case like that, this is when we need to compare their fractions. Okay, so we're going to compare 2 over 3 and 4 over 5. And that's going to tell us which one is bigger. Okay, so I'll write them down here. So we're going to compare 2 over 3 and 4 over 5. So which fraction is bigger? Well, we can't compare these because they have different denominators. Okay, so in order to make these have the same denominator, I'm going to cross multiply their denominators. So I'm going to multiply 3 with that fraction over there, and I'm going to multiply 5 with that fraction over there. Okay, so if I'm going to multiply by 3, I'm going to multiply by 3 on the top and on the bottom. And then if I'm multiplying by 5, I'm going to multiply by 5 on the top and on the bottom. Okay, now all we have to do is simplify this. So what's 5 times 2? That's 10. And then that's going to be over 5 times 3, which is 15. And then we'll simplify this fraction on this side. So we have 4 times 3 on the top which is 12. That's going to go over 5 times 3 on the bottom, which is 15. So as you can see, now we have the same denominator 
in both sides, right? We have 15 here and 15 here. So now that they're the same, all I have to do is compare their numerators. So which number is bigger, positive 10 or positive 12? Well, positive 12 is bigger, right? So remember, I want to eat the bigger number. So I'm going to make my inequality face that way. Now remember, we're not comparing 10 over 15 and 12 over 15. What we're comparing is 3 and 2 thirds and 3 and 4 fifths, right? So 10 over 15 was 2 thirds, right? So that was this one, 3 and 2 thirds. So 3 and 2 thirds. And then 12 over 15 was 4 fifths, right? So that was this one over here, 3 and 4 fifths. So 3 and 4 fifths. But now we figured out which way our inequality symbol is supposed to point. So it's this way, right? And then you would simply read your answer as 3 and 2 thirds is less than 3 and 4 fifths. All right, let's try one more. Okay, so let's compare these to negative 4 and 4 sevenths and negative 4 and 2 thirds. Okay, so how would I compare these? Well, as you can see, their whole numbers are the exact same, right? We have a negative 4 here and a negative 4 here. So we can't tell based off of that. So we're going to have to compare their fractions, okay? 4 sevenths and 2 thirds. Okay, so I'll write them down here. So we're going to compare 4 sevenths and 2 thirds. But remember, these aren't positive, right? These are negative. So I put a negative there. This one's also negative, so I'll put a negative there. So I'm actually comparing negative 4 sevenths and negative 2 thirds. Okay, and we can only compare these two if they have the same denominator, which in this case they don't, right? So what are we going to do to do that? I'm going to cross multiply their denominators again, okay? So I'm going to multiply 7 by that fraction over there, and then I'm going to multiply 3 by that fraction over there. Okay, so I'll multiply by 7 over here on the top and the bottom, and then I'll multiply by 3 on the top and the bottom. Now, all we have to do is simplify this. So what's 3 times 4? That's 12, and then that's going to be over 3 times 7, which is 21. And remember, this is negative, right? So negative. Okay, now this fraction on the right, we have 2 times 7 on the top, which is 14, and then that's going to be over 3 times 7, which is 21. And again, this one is also negative. Okay, now you can see they have the same denominator, so now we just have to compare their numerators. So which number is bigger, negative 12 or negative 14? Well, negative 12 is bigger. And remember, I want to eat the bigger number, right? So my inequality symbol is going to face this way. Now, lastly, we're not comparing negative 12 over 21 and negative 14 over 21, right? The original question was, negative 4 and 4 sevenths, and negative 4 and 2 thirds. Now we know which way our inequality symbol is supposed to point, right? So I'll put it up here, faces that way. So your answer here would be negative 4 and 4 sevenths is greater than negative 4 and 2 thirds. All right, guys, so that's how you compare mixed fractions or mixed numbers. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you still got any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely go check those out, and I'll see you there.